Hello, my name's Emma. Welcome to week one of the next six art club takeaways. I'm very excited. We are going to go on some fun art adventures together. I'm so glad you're here. So there's something important to say, and I will probably end up saying this every week at the beginning of every video, but everything you get inside this box, everything that arrives through your letterbox onto your doormat is for you. It's for you to use in whichever way you want. So I'm here, I'm going to give you some ideas, I'm going to show you ways to work with what you get, I'm going to show you a few old things but new ways to look at them and I really hope that this helps you let your own imagination fly. That's basically what I'm after, is for you to know that whatever you make or don't make, whatever you try or don't try, there's no right or wrong. It's all about you figuring out what works for you. Figuring out what you like, what colours you like, what sort of making you like. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of this is for you. So, here we go. Let's just have a sip of tea. Hang on. Today, everything that we've got inside the pack is raised a little bit because we're going to think about rubbing. Now, rubbing is something that you might well have done before. You might have taken a coin or a piece of wood or a leaf, or put a paper, a piece of paper on top and taken a crayon and rubbed it. And you'll see that the paper gets the shape or the texture of what's underneath it. And this is basically where we're starting. I'm going to show you a few different ways to do some rubbing, a few different things that you can use and ways to kind of make this into artwork. Again, explore, experiment, take what you can find and see if you can think of different ways to use it. So, are there any coins in your house? There's not too many in mine, I tell you what, but maybe someone's got a coin for you that you might be able to borrow. Make sure you give it back. Put it down on your table, put a piece of paper on top and use one of the crayons I've given you and rub it. Now, it's important to say that the crayons I've given you have no paper on, I've taken them all off. And I want you to use the side of the crayon rather than the end of the crayon. And you'll see why I've set up something over here. I hope you can see. This is my stop board. You'll see this again throughout the weeks. So if I put my 50p down and I put a, pair, a piece of paper on top of it, what I'm going to do is hold tight with my hand that I'm not rubbing with. So I'm right-handed. And I'm going to use the crayon in my right hand and my left hand is holding on. It's holding on to the 50p and it's holding on to the paper. Now, with the edge, can you see what happens? I'm rubbing it with the edge. Now, I'm actually rubbing that all over the, the paper, but you don't see it so much because it's only bringing out the texture of what's underneath. If it moves, if it wibbles about, if it scrunches, it doesn't matter. And you'll see why. Because perhaps I can go again. And move it and go again. Now you're using both hands, you're working together and you're feeling and fiddling. Now look, the 50p has come up three times. But perhaps a coin is too boring. Have you got something else? So I've given you take another piece of paper. I've given you puzzle pieces. How about doing a puzzle piece over and over again? So look, this one's different. You can see that it's bigger. And this time I'm not holding the puzzle, but I'm having to hold the paper. It slipped about a bit. It crumpled a bit. It doesn't matter. Look at that. You can really see it, can't you? And if I use perhaps a different colour, maybe a colour that's contrasting so that means one that is not similar so perhaps red and pink they would be similar colors but 
red and blue, they are contrasting colours. This is another chance for you to take the colours you like, see what works. So here, can you see? Maybe I've got one more colour I could use. Now I decide where I put it. I'm using my hands and I'm feeling and fiddling. Now, where the purple goes on top of the yellow, that changes where the purple goes on top of the red. It makes it a different kind of colour. We're mixing colours and we're seeing what happens. So can you see? My paper was scrumpling a bit. Sometimes it's kind of tough to do it. You have to push and hold. And I want you to practice as much as you can. But look, if I put this on a piece of black card, it in itself, it already makes a piece of art. But why stop there? You could cut these pieces out. You could layer them on top of each other. So go around your house, see what you can find. See if there are some interesting a pair of scissors, that might be good. You must be safe when you use the scissors. Perhaps if you open them, you make sure you're very careful with the points. Use scissors with round edges. Maybe that's the safe thing to do. I've got a piece of jewellery. Now look, I found this and I think if I rubbed that, that would give such an interesting shape. Let's not stop there. Even if you can't find anything, try folding the corner of your paper and then rubbing in here. I'll show you. So I folded the corner and then I'm just gonna rub. So I'm going over the edge that's folded and the edge that's not folded and then I've opened it. So then try folding again. Let's see, going over the edge and going not over the edge. Oh, that's starting to be interesting. I'm going to try a different corner. Over the edge. So, can you see how this is building up? Now, I might, of course, try some different colours. Maybe this time I'll see if I can use one that's similar. I'm going to go with pink. I'm going to go from the other end and see what happens. You see my paper scrumples it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because we're about making shapes patterns we're trying to look at colors and see what works now look can you imagine if i carried on and on and on how this might look it's very simple but it's adding the colors together and creating texture that's the feeling, so something that's got texture, you, you can feel it. So this is the look of the way something feels. It's a very interesting way to make patterns and shapes and to work out what you like the look of. There's a ruler, it's not a ruler, it's just a piece of card, but perhaps you could try making straight lines, rubbing the ruler and moving it and moving it and moving it and moving it. Perhaps you get something that looks very square, very geometric. This is a very straight lines or very particular shapes. This might be interesting. So I want you to rub things, find stuff. What have you got in your house? What have I given you that you can rub? Experiment. And then if you wanted to, when you've got some shapes, some pictures, you could cut them, cut them out, cut out the particular pieces you like, or why not just cut them, practice with your scissors and see what you get. Because what have I got? Can I show you against something dark? <laughs> Not too well prepared. If you've got something that's a very interesting shape and you put it against something dark, a few of these together make for some very interesting artworks. Experiment, explore, cut things, rub things, don't worry about the scrumples, 
don't worry about the little marks that go over the edge. It's all part of the exploration of figuring out how to bring out the shape and the texture of things by using these wax crayons. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, why don't you send me some pictures or send me some words right in the bottom of this video and tell me what you found out. What was hard? What have you had to try out a few more times? Anything that made you think of something else? Did you take the materials in the pack and use them in a completely different way? You let me know. I'd really love to hear from you. And so, enjoy your first art club takeaway. And I'm very excited to see you for the next six weeks. Thanks ever so much. Bye.